I got a big gar right here in front of me, folks. Let's see if we can catch him. He looks like he's active. All right, he's coming to the bait. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. And he's got it. He ain't that big. Boy, you talking about a pretty looking gar right here. Now, I didn't have to put it on that fish's head because, and the reason is, is because he was active. He was moving. But now, if they're not moving, that fish is fighting. That's a pretty fish right here. I love this right here. There's a lot of sport into it. Now, this one's fighting. They will. If you catch them around three feet and on, they'll fight. And every one of them's colored up a lot, or they're different coloration. I'm, I'm sorry, folks. I get excited when I'm fishing, and I don't care what it's for. But I could tell I could catch him. He was on the prowl for something to eat. I'm just going to take my time and have my fun with him. I'm using a light action rod right here that it's a crappie, crappie rod made by Bucks Jig Pole. B and M, excuse me, look at there what a pretty gar. Alright, let's get him. Let's try and get him. Oh me. Now that was a fat right there. That was a big fat. I'm gonna say 32 inches, probably. But he's healthy. Real healthy. Let's get our gloves on right here. Using these leather gloves, folks, I've been cut up before. When I was a kid, oh, I was 10 foot tall and bulletproof. And these right here will work on you. I mean, big time. The first time one of these got a hold of me, it was an alligator gar in Florida. And he tore me all to pieces. Daddy put some band-aids on them. Oh, but look, look right here. I want y'all to look. What some teeth? Now that's some serious teeth right there. And it takes a long time to get this rope out, but I value this fish as well as I do any other. They don't hurt the environment or the ecosystem at all. Look at that, what some teeth. Woo! Let's let him go. He's wanting to go now. They're tough, resilient fish. Go on back in there, boy. There he goes. He picked it up right there. You know, he'd been out of the water for a while, but the fact is, Gar, you can leave them out of the water three or four hours before they'll die. They're tough. All right. See, that bait is wrecked out. I'm just going to get me another bait tied on. I have several right here fixed up. But I'm going to tie this little... I'm, I just call it a slip knot. There's a name for it, but I don't really know what it is. That's all it takes. And I'm using 10-pound test. Believe it or not, OmniFlex is a cheap cheap line you can get at Walmart does a real good job it's a good line and now I'm going to put me a split shot on and we'll look for another gar yeah I'm using right here a six and a half foot wait a minute I think six and a half six foot five bucks graphite B&M jig pole made for cropping um, real light now I'm just using a little try on right here uh, made by Fluger, and like I said, or if I did say, I think I did, 10-pound test OmniFlex, which you can get at Walmart. Cheapest line you can buy, and that's it. Look here, folks. There he is. Dang, he jumped. They jump like a doggone bass or a bowfin. 
that's a small one but I've been going down through here and going down through here and going down through here and I had to go ahead and catch him he nailed it he's not near as dark as that first one I caught not as big either come on in here there he is he's got it wrapped up in his nose I mean I don't know what the deal is today, really. The last couple times, folks, I've done bass fishing with y'all. Shoot, I've seen some of the biggest doggone gar you ever laid your eyes on. Today, I can't find them. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep trying. I want to catch one about four and a half, five foot long. That's a lot of fun, especially on this light tackle. He's got some little bitty teeth, but I'm talking about it don't matter. They'll just look. that would open you up. I'm going to have an easy time with that one. Pretty little fish, though. Let's let him go. They're all pretty. I'm telling you, my goodness. Get them out from here. You go on back and be a good one. <sighs> Whoa. It looks like they'd be laying all the way up under the shade right here, don't it? But they're not. Now, later this evening, they may start showing herself. I've seen that happen before. But really, the main thing for us to focus on right here, hey, is to catch another one. Let's do her. Get out of here, you old thing! Always messing me up going down through here. Let's give him a hair brushing right here. His hair's messed up. Alright, that'll do it. Let's catch another. Whoa. Whoa. There's one right in front of us, folks. Let's lead him. All right, he's got it. Now, that's a pretty good one. I'm going to let him get wrapped up because I've done lost a couple because I've been too antsy. That's a good one. soon as they bite it even though I know better I get so excited that I want to just start reeling <laughs> and, it, and it's normal but you got to wait put a little pressure on the fish then he'll start shaking his head and fishing with a smooth a light drag excuse me is the best way to go about it so that line will slip here he is. He's a pretty good fish right here. Let's see if we can get a net. He's a oh he's close to three foot, not quite. The gar has been scattered out. I hadn't found. Uh, I'll be able to talk in a minute. I love this stuff, folks. That's a pretty good size gar right here. Yeah, he is. Okay, that's a good one right there. That fish is someone. He's three foot. Every bit of it. Quit. I'm just going to jerk it out of there. Hey. He barely had it. That's good. It's a good one. I'm telling you, folks, they're that strong. I'm just trying to hold him with everything I've got. Let's let him go. He wants to leave. There he goes. My goodness, that was a fight. Any fish. Uh, any species, it's very important to understand the te temperament of any fish. 
in my opinion. Whether it be a crappie, a bluegill, shellcracker, smallmouth, spotted bass, largemouth, even catfish. Um, this right here will give you an advantage as far as catching a lot of fish. A gar, I tell you what, when you see them laying up on top of the water, not moving, just laying there, almost dormant, they are dormant. They're inactive. When you see a gar, when you see gar moving around or coming up to the top of the water, then diving back down, these fish are much more active. Now, I mentioned at the end of the previous video, the only one that we made about gar, that a spinning reel is better. It's a better application. And it is. You can make more accurate cast. Um, a bait caster, you have to have really the right rod, right size line. Everything has to be bounced out pretty perfect because it's real light. And a rope, when you pick it up out of the water, to make a cast, it'll lose that water real quick. So that's the reason why I mentioned that a spinning reel is, is the best way to go, in my opinion. But as far as presentation, when they're laying on top of the water like that, Gar, hit him right in the head or right out in front of his nose a few inches. That fish has got a high temper, but the temper isn't but for four or five seconds. Okay, if you don't catch that fish, or if he gives you an opportunity to catch him, you won't catch that fish. In all probability, you'll have to find another fish. But there in about three, four, five seconds after the initial cast, hitting him on top of the head or out in front of that fish, it'll spark that little high temper that they have in them. And I can't explain it. They're a lot different than a lot of fish. A largemouth bass will will do that a lot of times only when they're real active but most of the time if you if a largemouth bass is up on top of the water within inches you make a cast in right on top of that fish usually you spooked him that's the end of it um, unless he's extremely active but a gar they don't have to be active to catch them i needed to mention that folks because it's real important An accurate cast Dog. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you. Woo, woo, woo. Look at the dog, the dog. 